Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We did the vlog, so I feel like it's a video. Come back tomorrow. Um, it's 6.48 p.m. and what is it, Sarah, what are you still doing? Working on my project but to pay for I, the cruise. Yeah, I gotta keep telling myself that even though it's 7 o'clock, she's doing the project that's gonna pay for the cruise, so... I should just go figure out something to, to do. Like, <laughs> hang out with all these lovely people. They're having a taco night, but I've eaten three burritos today and Sarah's had one burrito today. I got them from work, we had a field day. Jess is currently explaining IVF to Eddie. Yes, and she is tempting, thinking about potentially taking an at-home pregnancy test, which I'm a strong advocate against not doing, because I'm nervous. Her transfer is six days before ours. We're talking about you. All right, today is gonna be a home vlog. So we're still on bed rest, and I'm beginning to pack because I booked our U-Haul because we're moving into our apartment tomorrow. So the vlog begins with laundry. Katie's making us a spa tea, and uh, head mate's feeling good. I'll show you her paw litter. It's the saddest thing ever with her little shaved fur. There's head mate's little sad paw. She looks so sad. What she have? She has. Hemorrhagic gastroenteritis. She had a bloody gut. Mm -hmm. It can come back like with stress, so it's something that we just have to watch for. So don't be so stressed. So, yeah, please. She's like a stress dog by nature, but she's doing good. She's on a special diet and like a lot of meds that I don't know what I'm going to do when Peter leaves because <laughs> she's not taking the pills. She's literally spitting them out. And Katie's not as good about just like shoving that pill down her throat and grabbing her mouth. I wonder why. But she'll get there. You good girl. Oh, I thank you. The pecking has begun to move out of Katie Nettie's and into our new apartment, and I am stoked. So I'm gonna get this loaded tonight. I have that empty. The laundry is going in the dryer, and then I reserved U-Haul. I think for a 7 a.m. pickup. I'm gonna try to get there between 5:30 and 6, so I can start moving all the all the stuff, all of our stuff from the second floor because that's where it is in the storage unit down to the first floor, at least by the door. So by the time my, Mr. Josh Bug, who's gonna hook it up and help me can get there that we could just bring it right there from inside the air conditioning first floor right into the truck bah, 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 bah. and then drive it over so pumped so excited to finally get in like our our new home and I you you're seeing it here we're not leaving that home without a baby no matter the means of getting that all legal of course of course all legal but we're not leaving that place until that is the home of our first baby 8:30, still working it's Friday. I just want to finish this section. I know, I know, I know. You got it. I'm going to go clean up the car. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try to do my best to vlog this, but not vlog it at the same time. I'm in the car. I'm not going anywhere right now. Um, the car is absolutely disgusting. And it's all my fault. It's because of those two off-site days with work. It's because of HHN last week and this week. And because we, there's a lot of the things that we didn't take out of the car when we moved in. Because we are like, why are we bringing this in? It's like cleaning supplies. Like, why are we bringing that into Katie's? We just leave it in the car for the two weeks. So I'm gonna get my clothes out, throw the garbage away, clean it up before I can start loading all that stuff that I you saw on the porch in the car. So I'm gonna blast some Hamilton and get to organizing because I want this to be an easy move and the best way to do an easy move is to be organized and I know I'm gonna be sweating my face off tomorrow. Um, and we have to do the move early and it's because we're going to a cool lunch with a family, some family members that are doing a quick trip in town, but you'll see that tomorrow. Um, I forgot I'm not gonna have Sarah and Eve with me, and I'm leaving the car at the U-Haul joint, moving everything with Josh, and then coming back, and then we're getting Eve, Eve staying at Katie's while we do the move, and then tomorrow after lunch with family, we're gonna get Eve and the rest of it. So I'm gonna be able to empty all this and fill with whatever like last minute like spoilable foods from the kitchen, from the fridge, and Eve's stuff and, and everything like that. So I actually have a lot more space in this car than I did last time, so I was like, why is this packing so easy? That's why, so. But it is hot. It's 82 degrees and real humid. I'm sweaty. But I'm already done pecking. Like, all I gotta do is laundry for the rest of tonight and get up super early tomorrow. So, looking good. I was worried this was gonna be longer than that. But 
And it wasn't as dirty, it's just, it was a bunch of clothes and garbage. Dirty sock. I'll deal with that tomorrow. So our night gets to continue a little bit, a bit more fun. I forgot, just left um, to go take care of her dog. But she had brought us some vegan, non-dairy coconut, or cookie dough, coconut milk ice cream. And I sit down with Katie and Eddie while we finish the Reputation Netflix special again. While I wait for the laundry to dry. And Sarah should be done soon, right? Yes, I'm on my last day. Awesome. And then she'll send that invoice out and then we can have a little bit of fun on this Friday night. Besides just prepping to move. I won't send that invoice for a couple of days until I get the whole cake. Okay. Makes sense. This is living the dream right here. Friday night. Jamming the T-Swift. The last page. Sam. <laughs> Turn it away. He's, he's a fake T Swift fan. There's closed captioning on. Midnight. <laughs> Midnight you on New Year's Day. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I gave it to lay down the paper. The Bostonian hasn't even seen this movie in a really long time. <laughs> I am a big fan, as is Eddie. Yes. <laughs> Me and Peter actually have this on DVD twice. Six games last you bought it twice? We both had one. Like, wow, that's how you knew you were a man. <laughs> I, I feel the same way as you hear. I feel very lucky. Um, Sarah and Katie just informed me that Jess not only had ice cream for me, that was forever, but she specifically bought these hint of limes for me. I could eat this whole bag right now, and I just might. Fresh bag of hint of lime tostinos. She's being surrounded by the hungry fiends that want the chips. We got some major magic now today. One brand new glorious placemats from Peter's grandma, made with love. Cannot wait for our new kitchen. And this from the Thompson family. They know our struggle all too well, but this is like the perfect song for what we're going through. So this is definitely going somewhere special. And then two shirts for two friends. This one is Karen. She's gonna run it, or she's gonna wear it while she runs the 5K for wine and dine. And then this is for Carolyn Earhart, who arrives later this month. So, Typically, the food and wine tank tops, the design, and the shirts actually, the designs go on the back, but Carolyn had special requested on the front. So if you are interested in the design on the front, let me know and I'll add it to the shop. That was just like a, a test print. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to add. So if you're interested, let us know. Give me flashbacks back to the cubbies. Yeah, we did. Then we hopped in the car and drove to, to, to Gigi. I just saw Katie in the crowd. There he is, there he is. And Antonia, I'm actually the one that caught the ball. Ooh, Friday the 13th, full moon. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Robert Louis Stevenson. That's a good one. This cutie pie and that cutie pie. We're ready for bed. And last, I don't I don't know if I have a spot. Last night for the Blair Witch Project sign offs. Hey, why'd you just get so nervous? My hair's crazy because I had like a field day at work. Like we went to like Dr. Phillips community park and like had team building activities for three hours, so I was a sweaty mess. And um, I thought I was leaving the house today. I got all ready. Um but it's been good, limited activity tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do any lifting. I'm not even gonna go with. No, so I was gonna stay home and edit the vlog. I'm leaving real early, like I'm trying to get out the door by 6.30, hopefully. Yeah. And I'm gonna start moving everything. And Josh is gonna meet And Josh you. is gonna meet me, and then we'll, we will do our duty. Yep. So thank you for this weird vlog. <laughs> but like I said earlier, we're just prepping to start our new home to start our new family. Or no, I said earlier, we're not leaving this apartment until we bring a baby to it. Okay. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.